I, Phil Aston here from Nat Spinning Magazine with the November 2024 update for YouTube and the Nat Spinning Magazine website. Welcome. If you love buying physical music, whether it's on vinyl or CD, whether it's now or it was then, and whether you love box sets, this is the place for you. There's no drama, though, apart from me sometimes, I guess, getting over-enthusiastic about stuff. Um, I try and avoid clickbait. I know it sells. I know negativity sells. I know that that would be a boost to what I do here if I had titles like some of the things you see out there, but I just can't do it. So I'm afraid there isn't much drama at all here. All there is is a genuine love of music, of collecting music. I've been surrounded by music, just sometimes not even playing it, but just having the stuff around you, just taking something off the shelf and taking the lid off the box and going through the booklet for about the 125th time uh, and just still, just wanting to be near that and or, or seeing someone mention something. Oh, wow, I haven't played that for years. But equally being introduced to something you've never heard of before, even though it came out when you were little, or even it came out when you were bigger. This is what this is about, is to try and introduce you to lots of new music, but also talk about music you've known forever. And I know that uh, the reason why many people seem to like me talking about music is that you like my stories and my and my piece, my memories, etc., and the kind of social history stuff. And also, you know, trying to give you insights under the bonnet of the music, about the packaging, about the when I do a review, etc., and everything else that I try and incorporate into this as a virtual music magazine. Big announcement, it says, doesn't it, I think, on the titles. You think, what does he mean? I'm very aware that, especially over the last month, I've done what feels like loads of reviews. I do loads of reviews. I have a review section, don't I? And many of you come to my, come to this channel um, website because you value my honest reviews. I will never just say something is fantastic for the hell of it. And if I feel that a record label has made not a mistake, short shortcuts in the packaging, or whatever, I will call them out. But I don't. I don't gen tend to review things I don't like. I can't be. I can't be positive about being negative, as I've said before. But I do feel, because some of you pointed this out, that there's been reviews after review after review. And one of the things that I love doing here is just doing what I call my features, where I talk in depth about an album or a series of albums, my playlists or bands or um, genres, and go really into that um, at great depth. And I know lots of you love that. And there hasn't been so many of them. And equally, the other thing is the some of the box sets that have come out have been quite expensive. And some of you said not all of you can afford this. I just want to bring be completely transparent on this. What I'm doing here is my job. I've had to completely change the way I see what an income is for doing this, obviously. Because what I'm doing here is being funded by Patreon and some advertising off YouTube and off the website and the sale of some T-shirts. And that's it. I do get sent some stuff to review. A lot of stuff I buy. And I've reached a point where I have to be now think very carefully about what I'm going to review. I bought the Rory Gallagher CD box set. Um, and a lot of people asking me about the Queen box set, which I'll have to buy. Um, and I'm not sure whether at the moment I can stretch to that. So I really want to take on board what some of you have been saying, because I, one of the things I did, uh, well, I've mentioned before, is that there are many of us with vast collections. And I do in my mental health and music series, talking about living in the moment and not having anything for best and making sure you appreciate what you have. And that last part of that sentence is what I really want to mention. Appreciating what we already have. 
And I want to do more features and videos on that as a subject. So yes, it does mean I'll be talking about stuff that you go, I've got that, Phil. Oh yeah, I've, oh gosh, hasn't this been done before? Well, not from my perspective, probably. Um, so it will be different. But I do think that's important. And hopefully what I want to try and do by doing that is you go, I haven't played that for years. Thanks for the reminder. And I know when I do my weekly playlist videos, which I know have been a bit haphazard because of all the reviews, people love those. And so there's going to be more impromptu kind of like looking back, looking forward, more beginner's guides. Because I think there's so many people talking about the 10 best whatever albums, but now appreciating what it's like when you're in your early 20s and you I don't have no idea where to start. And you can be my age and suddenly discover an act that you've only just got into and you don't know where to start. Or a newer band like um, Frost for me, for instance. Thank you. For those of you pointing out where I should go next, my adventure with that band. Uh, I mean, there are so many new things to discover as well. But I just want you to know that as I try and keep things as in a formula as best as possible, but I do like the freedom of being able to just do what takes my fancy, is the reviews will be more select. A lot of reviews will just go out to the website or out to social media. What happens here on the YouTube channel is going to be the more like the, the big hitters. The podcast, boy, am I lucky to be talking to the kind of stars that I am talking to, musicians, you know, like Tony Banks from Genesis, etc. recently, and Devin Townsend I've just done, and Neil Morse. Um, so there's some great, great, great guests coming up. Music and mental health, thank you for all of your support on that series. I'll be honest, I really thought music channel doing stuff like this, how's this going to go? No one else is doing this. There's a clue for me, wasn't it, really? It's sticking to what I do because that makes me different to many others, I guess. Um, the playlist and stuff like that, the ranking videos, the beginner's guides, um, you know, and of course, people come here because they go, Phil, are you going to talk about Deep Purple again? <laughs> me? Talk about Deep Purple. And... Um, so lots of stuff like that. So, yeah, the review is going to be more select. And of course, please, if you can support me via Patreon and buy a T-shirt or become a YouTube member and you'll get first access to all of the videos. You'll get access to videos that never make it this far. Um, you'll also get access to the Facebook group. The Facebook group now is only available to patrons and YouTube members. That's the only way into the Facebook group, which is a place where collectors from all around the world talk about what's in their music collections. There are two every month virtual meetups via Zoom, which have like a, we have like a pretend pub where we meet, for, we meet up for an hour on a Wednesday every other week where we just you can drop in. You can you can just be quiet and just watch and listen or you can interact. We talk about what we've been listening to, what's happening around us. We get to know each other. And also there is going to be a panel based on patron and subscribers, um, YouTube members about getting feedback to feedback to the music uh, record companies as well on certain things that I pick up for what I do. And of course, there is Music Biz Chat where I talk about what's going on in the world of music from CD sales and vinyl sales and, you know, the, the struggles that musicians are currently having and stuff that just generally takes my fancy as a magazine because this was always supposed to be like sounds so all genres all formats but a place where you look down through the comments there are no wars breaking out this is just for people that love music wherever you are in the world and you still like to buy it you can hang out with people just like you thank you so much for all of your support and being here and remember, music is the healer and the doctor. Take care, all of you. Keep spinning those discs and I'll see you all very, very soon. <laughs>